Uh, I don't know what type of metal it is. Okay. It's a very pretty metal when you look at it like macroscopically. Mm -hmm. yeah, this is just a rod of This is not moving very fast. Multi crystal and zinc. such a big variation in height uh, that you might have to move to find somewhere that I gotcha. Look at that. Pretty good now. You live? Yeah, we're live right now. There we go. Would you like me to metalize this spider? So you can Actually, yeah, if you want to. And Michaela's bag of goodies is somewhere. I will. Um, uh, oh, it's right back here. She brought snakeskin as well, and I think I really want to look at the snakeskin, but I really don't want to open this bag because there's also bugs. Okay. So you would like to play. Um, so yeah, anyone that can hear us on live stream, we're gonna get ready some snakeskin and some bugs to look at at really high res. It's gonna be cool. Makerspace TV. That's right. That's cool. what you gotta do. All about bugs. <laughs> You guys, everybody, let me know when you want to do high voltage stuff. Okay. Ooh, we got some flies in here too. Oh, great. Nice. What a day. Yeah, right? right? What a time to do this. Cycle. We got flies and weeds and, and Jacob, the YouTube guru. Yeah. Is Jacob the YouTube guru? And well, right now, until so you claim his throne. Yeah. You nah, I'm, I'm good. Jacob's got it. I'll admit to Pete. All right, so today we've got a, a real treat going on here. One of the, the best in the biz, and it's her job. <laughs> so she can't really do anything about it one way or the other. We've got Natalie showing us how to use the the electron microscope. Same electron microscope. And it scans. It's one of those that scan. Yeah. That's something that's important, apparently. <laughs> So look at these pictures we're scrolling through right now. So we're looking at a, uh, that, what is that, metal? It's a zinc. It's zinc. A crystal you zinc. You never thought Sample. zinc would look like that. You looked really closely, but it does. What's that right there? I have no Stringy idea. thing? Yeah. It looks like a hair follicle or something. I'm like, so ah. what is what's going on there? Anyway, you you wouldn't have been able to to see that little dingleberry if you didn't didn't have an electron microscope. Dingleberries are technical terms. Look at that right there. I mean, if that's not a zinc dingleberry, I don't know what it is. I actually don't um, know what that is. Is it like a hair thing? Uh, yeah, it looks like it's probably a. I'm guessing a some sort of a skin or hair flake that yeah. followed in the sample. That's obviously not a zinc crystal. Right. Well, what size are we looking at here? What uh, would that be? 850 times, uh, 140 micrometers is this distance. Ah, uh, look at that. That's pretty zoomed in, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah. Oh, 
All right, what, what, what are we looking at here? No. Same, same <laughs> thing. So uh, more zoomed in, though. If you can see the uh, numbers there on the bottom, they're actually backward. So you got to do a little bit of, a little bit of. Are they backward in your head? Thing? It's just on the screen. It's backward. Hey, do you think that uh, anyone would be interested in seeing sample prep? Oh yeah. Spiders and walk, walk us through that now. Oh, yeah. Walk us through some sample prep. Are you gonna do it on the camera? Uh yeah, you want to aim it down, and then we'll look at this, and then. Uh, after I've got the sputtering system ready, we can take it take over and see it sputter. So, how are you? Not Natalie doing this. Uh, no, I'm taking all direction from Natalie. Yeah, she's in. I uh, actually haven't. Is that to, Is that instead of the sticky to adhere it? To uh, it? yes. So okay. this yeah. is. Okay, stuff. This is know. from Ted Pella Incorporated. Oh, carbon glue. Carbon. So I'm guessing it. Uh, in conductive a carbon glue to our sponsors, uh, which are unsponsored. <laughs> this is not sponsored material. This is not sponsored. And we're just going to. So it's gonna adhere to anything that's organic, I'm assuming. Uh, it'll act just like a conductive. Oh, it's conductive adhesive. to the carbon. Okay, gotcha. And it's good to use this when you're dealing with large samples like oh. this dead spider. Hey, look at that! Look at that! All right, that now. Little spider there. Oh, we don't want to lose that leg. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this carbon glue. We're going to adhere our samples to it. And then I'm going to take this over to the sputtering system, which is a plasma system, and um, cover them in a thin coat of metal. Now, just in case this stuff, just in case that spider there as a whole is too big for good viewing, we're going to get one that just has a couple legs. Can you guys see that leg? Uh, no, do the thing where you put your hand behind it. Oops, I dropped oh, it. Oh, I think, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> if you put your hand under it, it'll help focus it. But okay, well. They'll see it under You can see them. Look at those you, you can spider, see legs. Legs. spider legs. Spider legs. Okay, so those are spider legs. The next wonderful sample we have uh, was donated from the private collection of our own cosplay aficionado and leader. Um, we have two samples. We have snakeskin that we're going to look at. Snakeskin. Everyone see that? Yeah. And we also have a precious little black fly, which, yeah, see that? Yeah. Okay. They aren't going up. What's not going up? The the microphone on the on the computer. It doesn't look like the uh, stuff is going up. No, I I think it should be on the camera, right? Testing, testing. Can you guys hear me? We'll tell you what. Um, why don't you load it up on that monitor? Oh, okay. Well, let me uh, click on this microphone. Okay, I just muted it and then I'm. It no. might have been the big fix we were looking for. Maybe. Is it gone up and down? No. Okay. It didn't do it. It didn't do anything. Yeah, it's loaded up on that. There's a, is there a microphone in the camera? Because I think that's what I have it set to. Uh, there is a microphone oh, in this oh, camera. Oh, Ashley says we can hear now. Oh, you can hear? Okay. I think it was the muting and the unmuting. Thank goodness for Jacob. So, so for those that are just joining us, um, we have Natalie here that's walking us through how to do electron microscopy, and we're going to prepare some samples that uh, they're very high tech. So this one is uh, sample A. That's a dead spider. This is dead spider legs. This is a black fly, which is uh, responsible for the highest amount of insect larva protein production in the world, black fly larva. You need to know this. Yes, you, if you want to make a black fly burger, you will use black fly larva. And then finally, we've got uh, this wonderfully donated sample from uh, our own cos cosplay, Michaela. It's a uh, snake skin. That's right. It's not the actual Michaela. It's just the cosplay Michaela. Just the cosplay one. Um, and and so, private collection. I'm pretty sure it's not a weird thing or anything. Yes. Like that. She has a pet snake. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, something like and that. And this is from her pet snake. 
This was sent in by our wide uh, user base, fan, fan base. There we go. Okay, and uh, so we've used, again, we've used this carbon glue. It's an electrically conductive carbon glue to hold them down there. And then we're gonna take these and put some metal on them using the sputtering system. So these are the samples to start. While I get the sputtering system ready, Natalie will keep showing you some zinc. Look at that, that zinc, right? <laughs> Not bad. You know any zinc uh, I don't know. No, but uh, it's you know pretty pretty cool on its own. <laughs> Does the talking for you? So let's see. Can you uh, go to some other parts? Yeah, of where should we I'm go? Kind of weirded out by the <laughs> by the hair the follicle. Berry, yeah. Gotcha. Right, oh, look at that. Is that like a bird's eye view of the, the thing? Uh, it's, yeah, right from the top, if that's what you're saying. No, nah, it's probably not what I'm saying. Okay. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, show off some pizzazz you can do on this, this, this hot is like, rod. Okay. <laughs> it's not really. That's. Can you like colorize the No. Nah. Okay. Don't worry about that. So you can do this with all sorts of things. Look at this. Look at that. That's a. That looks like an insect leg. A small crack, maybe. How much? How much further in can we get? How like zoomed in can we get? Yeah. Okay, let's. It looks take like we're a... pretty close to the minimum amount of focus. <laughs> I don't know if that's the same. Well, there's usually just a small range of focus in okay. the lens where it'll show you something. All right, so. How many uh, How many times can this bad boy go? Uh, like how much you can zoom in? 24,000. Let's see some 24K up in here. I don't know how much we're going to see. Yeah, let's go down here. Buckle up. We're, uh, we're going in here. It's like a magic school bus. Yeah, you might get stomach sick or something. Stomach sick. Focus too hard. We're not even close right now, right? This is like a tenth of the way. Yeah, but there's not like we're going to run into it, if that makes sense. After a certain point, we're yeah, just going to see. Good. This is like psychedelic. Yeah, it goes really slowly, so. So if you're interested in using this this electron microscope, Natalie is happy to take time out of her day, any day, <laughs> any time, to show you day or how it's done. So you can go to makerspaces.wm.edu or something along those lines and uh, put in a request. Use this uh, electron microscope. <laughs> Uh, I mean, my guess would be, be no. I'm um, thinking try. no as well. Yeah, but... I don't know. I think, yeah. Let's see. I'm going right. to see how far it'll go halfway. Well, it's not really halfway, though, because. I think it's going to make it. That's all right. We'll just look at this one for a little yeah. more. And in case you guys were wondering, Natalie is in fact wearing Crocs right now. I am. So feel I free am to wearing give her them. Shit in the comments. No, me. I'm 100% proud of it. Thank you very much. Or a crap in the comments. A crap. Our G-rated crowd. Can you lift this chair? I don't think that one goes up. That's why I got this one. That's a, a real one.
I got gotcha. you. So I, I got to move on to definitely not bigger and better things. This is the place to be. <laughs> to, uh, stay tuned in. Now he's going to show you some more some stuff. Some insects and some snake skin. Our coworker's strange collection of materials she sent in unmarked packaging. <laughs> Thanks, Jacob. New samples? Yep. Awesome. Um, Let me get this one out. And so for anyone that's interested, the samples we got now have been metalized using a sputtering system. Um, and we'll post video on the channel. I'll grab some video. Cool. 
Alright, so I'll just go ahead and eject this one. And I want to do the snake skin first. This is a snake skin one. Snake skin. Yeah. yeah. So we'll. Oh gosh. <laughs> so we'll take a picture of it. There's like a, the lights on the right side are kind of. No, it didn't make that much of a difference. Oops. It's not enough light for you guys, is it? Oh, I think that makes this one look really good, though. Hold on. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Alright, let's auto everything. Did you do all of them? You sputtered all of them? Okay, awesome. Oh, very thin trailer. Gotcha. I don't know if they should need that much. Alright, let's see. Gotcha. Hmm. Thank <laughs> you. 
Uh, really good. Yeah, we have some the fly is giving some really good pictures. Um, oh yeah, that's a uh, one of those keratinous structures. Wonderful. I took a picture of it because it was really cool. I don't have a flash up on me, but is that an in the antenna? No, I think it's an it's a hair by an antenna. That's what I was just thinking that nice and general. Oh cool. Yeah. Uh, no, pretty good pictures. Good. Yeah, more excited. The snake skin is not as exciting as I thought it would be. Yeah, to be honest, I was kind of worried like that would be flat. Yeah. So I don't really know exactly what I'm looking at, but it's really small. I have not. I think they're too far over the edge, but I can try and get over there. Yeah, yeah that looks good. Yeah, when you zoom out, you can see all the little spikes. I think this is an antenna, that one right there. Yeah, so very cool imaging. Let's go on a search for the eye of the fly. I tried to look at the wing as well, but it wasn't quite. Yeah. I think since it's on its back, it might be too far over the edge. Can I give you one that was on its front? Not for the. No, the spiders the same way, I think, but I don't think we would see the eyes of the spiders. So yeah. Ooh, was some more hairy things. Oh, ew, so gross. Oh, that's a good picture though. That's pretty cool. The dim it's crazy how you can see all the dimensions of it when you're Gross. Is that what a dust mite is? That little thing, like over here on the side? I don't know what. I don't know. Huh. Okay. Well, you could pull in uh, one of the excellent faculty from the biology. Yeah, I could. That would be fun. Look at those little, uh, little holes or structures or whatever that is. I don't know. It's like a porous membrane that is as close to the head. So I'm wondering if this is uh, something to do with that. I don't know. There's hair everywhere. Yeah, there really are. I wonder why I can sense when you try and swat them. I know, yeah. Let's see what these little holes have to say for themselves. Wow. Yeah, this is very cool. I wish I had more biology experience to know exactly what I was looking at, but. I want to put this back in. Oh, that's a fun one. Yeah. All right, let's look at the spider. Yeah. Do you want to do the leg or the whole spider? Um, 
Well, you start with the whole spider. Okay. You can't get a good image of Yeah, I kind of, like, you can see on the spider the legs kind of coming into the body, so I want to kind of look at that. But the next time I see a spider, I'm going to be extra grossed out. I think there's, is there one more fly in that container? No, it's just the one black fly. Oh, in that container? Yeah, that container. We can really quick get one compared with the eyes up if you want. Um, yes. Oh, God, this makes me like. Do you want to see it with the eyes up? Like uh, if you want, yeah, could you spider them? If your uh, back is up the jump, <laughs> I'll just start over here. All right, Let me switch it out. Yeah, I think I might have been looking at the eyes, but it was a little too. No, actually, I think they were too. And I can't really tell how wide they go. All right. Now let's take a look at this spider. I don't know what type of spider this is, but... All right. Let's focus her up. Well, this is grossing me out quite a bit. <laughs> All right, so spiders are very hairy. This is what I'm learning from this. Oh, ew, 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 ew. It just keeps getting grosser and grosser. Yuck, yuck, yuck. So whenever you see a spider, this is what's crawling all over you. <laughs> Very hairy little thing. I strongly just like this. Thank you. 
All right, I need a break from this. Because yikes. Okay, so that's the end of this leg, I suppose. What do you say? I have your sound on. I do have my sound on, yeah. It's a spider. Yeah, I don't know what type of spider. But look, the, like the little things at the end of the, like that's the leg. It's so disgusting. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> I wouldn't say that's any more disgusting than all the rest of it. I was gonna look at leaves. So. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> I probably will like leaves better as well. <laughs> One day I'll take really nice pictures of leaves. You can do. Like I can show you the. And took pictures of snowflakes. Oh my god, do you think they- no, they wouldn't say. You would have if to discover could, them. If you could- Well, if you could freeze one for long enough to spot it. I mean, and then it'll melt when it's in here. I would have to do it inside a room that's like- No, 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 you spot it, and then you just let it melt, because there's already the uh, metal coating. Oh, okay. So you don't care about it. Okay. I got some cool- look, that's a fly. Also, isn't that wimpy? Like this is that was all the time. Alright. Alright. I'm kinda of waiting for them to clutter that table. He has a fly, but it, it looks up, so we're gonna look at a fly with like the eyeball taking up. Oh, did you not just like turn over the one No, you'd have to respun it anyway. And also the the carbon adhesive that we use, it's very Oh, it's very because it's, it's uh yeah, so it's carbon, so it conducts through. But I think it would be very difficult to take the sample off. So that's what we're looking at. Is this why Ashley was talking about crocs? Yes. I haven't seen anyone wear crocs. I need to wear them more often. I don't rep my crocs love uh, as much as I should. It's just a really big thing where I'm from to wear crocs. I don't know. Maryland. But in some places in Maryland, no, actually, that's a lie. In a lot of places in Maryland, everyone just says grass. That was a really big thing for the like, for the years, maybe. Mm. I feel like uh, I should, we should be YouTubers. Like, comment in this, comment down below. Do you watch YouTubers? Um, I don't know, like, religious things. Like, yeah, they'll, they'll say something like, yeah, so <laughs> don't forget to comment and subscribe. 
And uh, comment down below what color frocks you have. Yeah. That's, that's like what they would say right now. <laughs> Okay. I'm so hungry. Okay. Well, look at that. First things first. How about you have a few in all the fluffy things? Yeah, I've actually used it before. Oh, you used it before. What are you talking about? Did you? Oh, yeah. I used it for imaging like the algae diatoms in Schneep's lab. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe. So, do you need help adjusting the other one? Okay. Uh. So at the top right corner. Let's see. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yep. It's been a little bit. And then it'll ask you, are you sure? Oh, yeah. Just the fly, right? Yeah. I never used that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was instructed to do so, but I'm not sure how much you're doing. If you, yeah, if you really care about the same, oh, do you need help taking it out? There, there, like, how do you get it? Have you met John? So, uh, what, uh, cat was online. Do you want this uh, in a particular place? No, you can go over here.
That way, bro. I did not break it.